me on my channel, Pursue Happiness. It's the only emotion to choose when creating health, wealth, and wisdom. Stay tuned for our next episode on Pursue Wisdom. everyone, it's Finn. In this episode of Pursue Wisdom, I will talk to you about world domination by narcissism. I would like to ask you a question. What do you think is the greatest commodity in this world? I would like for you to write that in the comments section now. Stop the video and write it. Our world is dominated by narcissists. You live in a narcissistic world. Those of you who have become educated in the narcissistic personality disorder understand some behavioral techniques by individuals who, ha who behave as narcissists. The narcissistic population on this planet is large and is increasing every day. As new people are born into this world, new narcissists are created without a doubt. You are aware already of the term generational narcissistic abuse. So you know that this cycle of, of abuse, this cycle of human abuse will never cease to exist. And you also know that hurt people hurt people. The reason that I want to talk about world domination by narcissism is because I know that the negative energy on this planet is dying. Now let me ask you, if you were drowning, wouldn't you find anything or any way to prevent your death? You would certainly grab hold of anything that you could to keep yourself alive. Well, when negative energy is dying, it's going to its grave, kicking and screaming, guaranteed. When someone is in the throes of panic, the emotion of desperation causes the drowning person to exert so much force that sometimes even the lifeguard drowns with them. For example, when a married couple with children are arrested for a criminal act, the authorities will suggest a plea deal to the mother to incriminate the father as the deal so she can keep her children and keep herself out of jail. These police threats usually work. The wife is figuratively drowning. When someone is drowning and in the throes of panic, for whatever the reason, the rescuer sometimes drowns as well. The rescuer should have been her husband. What did you write as the most valuable commodity in the world? Well, it's people. <clears throat> Why would it be people and not gold? People are the greatest commodity in the world and more valuable than gold because of emotions. Yes, they're living energy. People can be sold. Yes, they are commodities just like bananas and car parts. People are sold for their organs, for prostitution, for medical experimentation, and even for filming live violent energy as entertainment. Let me explain so you can better understand why I am talking about this subject right now. When Hurricane Harvey hit the Gulf Coast in 2017, the rescue of people was immediate for the large metropolis of Houston. When the tiny Texas town was completely devastated, 24 buses were lined up and ready to load up all the people in the town that had been displaced. It was a small coastal town of 8,000 people. They did not have the facilities to take care of displaced survivors like larger cities. There was no place to house them temporarily. The 24 buses were lined up and the survivors were sent away. The media never does an expose on where displaced hurricane survivors go or updates on how the survivors are doing six months to a year later, like where they were sent to, or where they settled. No. What we do get is media stories about narcissists like Jeffrey Epstein getting arrested by federal authorities. He happens to own an island used for human trafficking and child prostitution. Where did those humans come from in the first place?
They surely didn't go there willingly. If you are in the path of a hurricane, it is best to conceal yourself and leave immediately. I will ask you to closely study the names of the hurricanes. Hurricane Harvey, I liken it to Hurricane Harvest. And for Hurricane Barry, that is coming up in the Gulf Coast today, I liken it to Hurricane Barry. That's a Barry instead of Barry. Sound alike words that allude to real meanings. Narcissism is extreme in this world. Extreme narcissism does carry criminal intent. For the holders of global power, they manipulate it through the means of money. Since people are commodities for sale and trade for their services and their organs, they are rescued very quickly during their state of confusion. To give the appearance that it is a benevolent rescue, just like the narcissist in your own home. But when you're told to go onto a boat that looks like a prison barge and you don't know where you're going to, you're just going into the ocean, then you have to start drawing questions upon what is really going on in this world that's dominated by narcissism. Where do these people come from that are on Epstein's Island that are locked away in warehouses? If you look at a Google map at this island owned by Jeffrey Epstein, the buildings appear to have doors photoshopped on them. These doors are not even real. Even after these narcissistic criminals are arrested, where do these abused people go who were locked away in these warehouses or other ground places? Disaster weather has become too frequent. Missing children has become too frequent. Narcissists prey on people for all the supply they can provide. An individual narcissist is a force all its own. As you well know, if you live with one, whether it's family or spouse or child. But when a world is dominated by narcissism, this is not an individual narcissist. No. World domination by narcissism is an army of narcissists. It's a network of narcissists. This narcissistic network is competing for global control. That control is rooted in money, criminality, and disposable humans. Humans are a commodity. The large population that is willing to participate in this extreme evil and financially support the narcissistic network only perpetuates a world dominated by extreme narcissism. Watch Hurricane Barry. Watch how fast the rescue operations are shown by the media. Watch the chaos that is added to the disaster and discern the speed of cloaking criminal activity. Watch how quickly the rescue operation arrives and who the rescuer is. If a world is dominated by narcissism, ask yourself which entities are the strongest forces in each nation of the world. Remember, an army is not an individual. It's a large number, a very large number. Who are they? Until next time, pursue wisdom, pursue happiness.